So every every so often uh, we get to do stuff that's really fun as a representative. Senator Turner and I are here um, for two reasons. One, to honor a very good friend and longtime supporter. Uh, and number two, to make sure that guy never wants to support anybody but us <laughs> for our respective spots. Um, so it's, it's, along with Senator Turner, it's my pleasure today to honor somebody who everybody here knows. Uh, he's been in the real estate business for a long time. He's done a lot of like really extraordinary things for Greenville. Uh, today we're here to honor him specifically for his support of law enforcement. Uh, Y'all know he served, Seabrook Marchant served on the Civil Service Commission. That's the group in the city of Greenville that hired and fired uh, police officers. Unlike a lot of the other members of that entity, uh, Seabrook really got to know the officers who he hired. Uh, he got to know their life story, what their, their family struggles. <clears throat> and he had an idea six years ago, why don't we do an appreciation breakfast? Why don't we get the people in Greenville who care about law enforcement, why don't we get them together? We'll have a little breakfast at Tommy's Ham House. Uh, we'll have a good time, and uh, the law enforcement guys will know that we're here um, to appreciate them. Well, that grew from him buying some folks breakfast to filling up the TD Center with people who want to show their support for law enforcement. It could not be more timely than it is right now in the United States. Uh, so it is my great pleasure. Today, to, to give to Seabrook Marchant something that he deserves, uh, it is the highest civilian honor that a person can receive in the state of South Carolina. And on behalf of uh, Senator Turner, myself, and the five million South Carolinians, it is my pleasure today to present Seabrook Marchant with the Order of the Palmetto. <laughs> Say a few things so you don't you don't get to leave. Hey, hold tight. <laughs> we uh, we catch you by surprise. You did. <laughs> All right. Well, it's uh, it's a privilege to be part of this, and let me just first say that um, a lot of people speaking today and, and wanting to recognize Mr. Marchant, you need to know a lot of people out here actually made this happen for you. Uh, not only because they believe in you, but because you believed in them. Uh, we, we're just privileged to happen to have the opportunity to stand up here today and say a few words. So uh, there's a lot of folks uh, that certainly think a lot of you, and, and, and they really facilitated this and, and just allowed us to be part of it. Uh, you know who you are, and uh, thank you so much for letting us do this. Um, it's not only a privilege, but truly an honor to speak today in support of Seabrook Marchant, receiving the coveted order of the Palmetto. Having known and worked alongside Seabrook, I have remained in awe of his enthusiasm and drive for community outreach, a shared passion we both possess. My role as your Greenville County Sheriff gives me the chance to encourage our community and see the transformational impact that individuals such as Mr. Marchant have. He demonstrates a level of servant leadership admired by all, but matched by few. Many Greenville citizens know Seabrook through his real estate enterprise However, few recognize his courageous career within the U.S. Army Signal Corps. His experience within the Army solidified his values of integrity, selfless service, and loyalty, of which he has built his life and his company around. As a veteran myself, I hold an immense level of respect for Mr. Seabrook and his dedication to supporting those who have served our country as well as our community. Seabrook never wants any recognition as you can see, we had to kind of surprise him. I'm not sure he would have shown up for all this, but um, he simply does everything from the heart, receiving all the gratification he needs with a smile and a kind word to officers, explaining how much their selfless service means to him in this community. The Order of the Palmetto was made for people like Seabrook Marchant. We're so proud to be part of this today and recognizing him. If you watched him this morning interact with deputies and police officers and troopers that came through here, um, He's got a smile that just 
has not went away until he got called up here <laughs> and uh, got put in front of everybody. But um, you're an example for all of us, Mr. Marchant, and I certainly hope I can serve this community just a tenth of what you have served. And, uh, and I'm so proud of you. Proud of you. Thank you. I think uh, Chief Thompson. Thanks, Sheriff. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you, Representative Senator, for bringing this award. We certainly appreciate it. It's for a person that is so deserving uh, and, and so much more deserving than things I can even say or anybody can say. Um, I also want to recognize uh, the City of Greenville Mayor Knox White is here and a couple of our council members who have been very supportive of the police department. Uh, Dorothy Dow and Larry and Clemens. Thank you all so much for your support and for being here with us. Um, something very important to recognize is all of you are here uh, for one reason, and this is the reason. This is the man that set all this up, um, and we appreciate that. Uh, he has been a real true friend to law enforcement and supporter uh, during times when that's not so popular. So thank you. Um, I've got to know him and, and, and be friends with him over the years, but through his uh, interaction with law enforcement, this started, if you don't know, six years ago when really he just bought a group of officers uh, breakfast to thank them for their service. And now it has grown into what you saw today, which is a huge event. That, uh, and to, it's, it's so impactful on the officers to pull in here and see this support. So everyone that's here, thank you and thank you for your support because our officers need to see that and, and feel that. Uh, you are the reason we do what we do. So, so thank all of you for being here and for supporting law enforcement. Um, but I do want to congratulate Seabrook uh, for this honor. Um, I can think of no one more deserving uh, for this award, uh, like, I, like you heard them say, this is the highest award we, that civilian is given in South Carolina, and there is no one more deserving than Seabrook Marchant. So, again, congratulations. Um, I just wrap up saying uh, it's a rarity to meet someone like Seabrook who contributes so much and asks for nothing in return. Um, he not only is committed to the growth of his own network, which is real estate, as everyone knows, but a lot of other things. He is good to veterans organizations. I know he, he works with them. He is good to this law enforcement uh, area of Greenville County, to all of us. So he's got his hands in a lot and, and is a busy man besides running his own successful business. Uh, he's left an overwhelmingly positive impact uh, on all of us. And so many industries appreciate you. Another reason you're getting recognized. Um, and it is my belief, belief, based on this outstanding service and achievements that we've been talking about, that Seabrook is most deserving of this award, and I appreciate him and congratulate him. Morning, everybody. I just want to start off by saying thank you. you know, like Howie, Chief Thompson there. Six years ago, I became part of something great. And I want to tell this man, thank you one more time. I am deeply honored to stand before you today in honor of Seabrook's latest achievement, winning the Order of Palmetto. The Order of Palmetto is the state's highest civilian honor awarded to a citizen of South Carolina for extraordinary lifetimes of service. I got asked to uh, say a couple quotes here and there about Seabrook, but what came to my mind was simply some adjectives. So I wanted to put that out there. Generous because of his contributions to law enforcement. Composed in the way he's always setting the right example. Passionate for continuing the mission of Lead Week. Brave for his stance in support of law enforcement in today's times. Lastly, proud to have the affiliation with the men and women who serve our community. As my colleagues have stated, and as I would like to reiterate, Seabrook's dedication to the city of Greenville and the upstate community is unsurpassed. Seabrook is a model of how investing hard work and commitment to those around him can create long-lasting success. I know that Seabrook also devotes much of his time to the community of Greenville, and his commitment to the community is still unwavering and only strengthens with the passion of time. From his outstanding leadership to helping further the goals of the city of Greenville, Seabrook Marchant continues to set the bar higher than ever for everyone around him. I want to say thank you one more time, sir, and I look forward to our conversations. We always end it. Well, he tells me, have a good day, buddy. So <laughs> congratulations, buddy.
Part of us. Part of us, yeah. yeah. 